right, welcome back. Now we're going to go ahead and go over the playback functions and how to view your recordings. So we're going to, from your default screen, you're going to come in here to playback. If you didn't set up favorites, it's down here. All right, so since in the previous videos we've been using Vickers graphics, we're going to go ahead and do that again. So we're going to come down here to the Vickers graphics NVR, and we're going to use that drop down. You can pull up up to, I believe, 8 or 16 cameras to do playback at one time. I don't recommend doing that. It just gets very confusing to try to save footage. I like trying to stick to about four. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and keep on my four camera view. If I was going to go for 16, we could do that. And then you just start choosing the ones that you want to pull the footage from. You select them on the left and you select the date. But like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna go with the four view, make it a little bit easier on ourselves here. So let's go for a four view. I wanna see the action that's happened on the outside of the lot today. So choosing the four cameras down here, if we're looking, you could change if you're looking for just general record, uh, MD is motion detection. So if you wanna just find where motion has happened, you can deselect these. Generally, just keep it on all record, it makes, makes it easier. What type of footage are we looking for? We're looking for the mainstream. If we're looking for footage, we want crystal clear footage. We're not worried about the substreams. Keep it on main. The bottom option here is your date selector. So when you click this, if it has the blue little dot next to it, that means we have footage from the cameras we selected. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with today. So 27, it's there. And click search. It'll take a second. And then at the bottom, the yellow motion was occurring. Green means it was set to naturally record that time. And then yellow, more motion. So obviously in this camera, a lot is going on because it motion recorded almost constantly. Yeah, it's about the same for all of them. It's been a rainy day, so it's, rain's probably triggering it at this location, but we're about to find out. So with the line at the bottom here, we've seen that there's some motion here right past 10. So you just want to click right before the motion and it pulls up this footage. So this runner has triggered the motion and we're streaming here. If you were on site, this there'd be no delay, but we're streaming. So you can click this double line and the play buttons and it's the sync so it'll show you what's happening all around the building at this exact time so now all these cameras are recording at the same time and it's showing you the same time through all the footage so that runner just went behind this bus oh, and here he goes running and away he goes but now let's say that he wasn't just an innocent runner he ran over and he broke into this person's vehicle so we're going to come back to this view and we know the motion was what picked him up so use your mouse wheel and zoom in let's go to the beginning of the motion now we know he was there but it didn't pick him up so he triggered the motion on his way out of the camera so go back a little bit to where you see it you want to click your scissor so this red line is telling you when the recording of the footage is going to start they're about to save so he's already cleared that camera hit pause Grab your other red line here, slide it over. So take it right to the line that you made. And then we're gonna hit the scissors. And you always want to save an MP4 format. It's the easiest thing for computers to read. It's also the easiest thing for the cops to be able to read. So before when we were setting up the program, we told it to save in videos, CCTV recordings. So we're already here. And we're in the download folder, that's fine. Click OK. Save the footage. It needs to stop you from being in playback. That's fine. We already got all the footage we need from this camera. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. We just downloaded that one. Now we know he was about to pop up on view and he was down here on this camera. So go ahead and pop this camera up in full screen. And let's play a little further. Oh, he's coming in the screen. Hit your scissor. Let's slide this one back. Now we know he's going to run down the side of this building so we're going to switch to the other camera but this will be fun so he's a decent way out so let's slide this back click your scissor we're on the say it's going to go right to the same folder that you're saving in so click ok while that's going we can come to this one now this is paused off of the first camera Okay, he's visible on this one. Click your cut. Slide that red back so you're in this general area. And then you just want to see how far you want to watch him. If he was over here doing something, you'd be watching him over here. Like he's almost out of sight. He's, he's gone by then. Okay. Slide this back. 
cut it again. While the last clip is downloading, you just hit this open. That's going to give you your window. So then you'd be able to take these clips and put it into Adobe or Movie Maker, whatever program you wanted, or just save them as the clips to hand off to the police. Anytime you have an incident and you need to turn something over to the police, don't hesitate to turn over to insurance, whatever. If you need help creating a video, if you get me the timestamps and send it to me, I'll be able to pull the footage and get that set up into a video for you. But with these clips, I'm going to slide this off screen. we got the three clips here. I'm just going to play each one of them. The first one is running right at the camera and this is this is full quality here let's go in there and then switch here and just like that that's how you get the recordings and stitch them all together to get it to work but i want to show you another cool function with the uh, playback so let's stop all that now we're going to look for something substantial moving a car is a or a person running is a little rough because he's not taking up that much space oh this will be this will be perfect you want to watch for a specific area let's look at these cars for example we want to know when there's motion that occurred on these cars come to the bottom left you have this magnifying glass with the weird arrows around it click it and now this is selecting grids that had motion we want to watch this small chunk. Get them highlighted. Come back down here and click it again. Right here it tells you if you're looking for motion detection. If this was a newer, smarter camera, you'd be able to select, look for a vehicle or a human in those boxes. I know that this camera does not have that ability, so we're just looking for motion detection in these spots. But then come down here and click that magnifying glass with the arrows again, and it's going to search the NVR and it's looking for motion all in this area. It takes a minute to do this. It's searching a lot of footage. So don't don't be alarmed if it takes a minute. So then once it completes, it's gonna add in these little purple markers, purpley pink, so we know right around 930. There was motion in those boxes. It was this this guy coming to work. It's gonna automatically hop to the next one. So on and so forth. It's just gonna show you all motion that occurred in that area. Makes it Nifty if you're looking for a specific item on a shelf that went missing, or in this case, if and when cars came or left, and it's not looking for motion over the whole camera, just the boxes we selected. Makes it easy. And when you're done, you just click stop. And that's just a quick brief overview of the playback. And just to give a quick recap on that, you want to get to the camera that you want to get footage from, check mark it, then you want to come down here and you want to choose the day and the time that you want to search for activity. If you have one of the smarter cameras, you can start narrowing it down. So if you have always record on like all this green, you don't have to have that checked, but generally speaking, you're gonna keep everything checked and just search. So once you get your date selected, just click the search button and then it searches the NVR for the footage of that. Down at the bottom, you just wanna click, you have play, rewind. The one X changes your speed. So right now it's playback speed one. The higher the quality, the choppier it gets, the faster you go. If you're on site, it works better. But now we're watching this footage at eight times speed. The other option down here is the speakerphone. If this camera had audio, you'd be able to click this and turn it on to be able to hear the audio that's occurring while it's recording. This camera does not have audio. And then uh, just once again, to save, you wanna just click the scissors it's going to give you a one hour chunk by default. Very rarely do you want to download a whole hour. It's a ton of storage to do that. So the left starts from wherever the video footage is at and you click the scissor and the right end is going for one hour. You just want to pull that right end back to whatever amount of footage you need. Click the scissors again and it's saving to your default folder. Now, if you want to make a new folder because there was a specific incident car broke into, you can click browse and come in here and when you're saving it and make a new folder. And then you can select that folder to save to. But the main thing when you're on this screen is that you're saving an MP4 format. AVI is, is okay. Never use ASF, never use original. MP4 is the one you want to use. If you ever have any issues, once again, with 
pulling footage or getting a video put together, do not hesitate to let me know. If you have the timestamp, I'm able to get these videos and turn them around in a really short amount of time. But it's just that easy to use uh, the playback function here on the Smart PSS security camera system.